Uh, welcome to Enzo Tech Tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to host your website on a live server. So let's get started. So before you host your website on a live server, you must have a hosting uh, account. So you must have bought um, a hosting um, provider. I'm using TrueHost as my hosting provider. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to host your website on a live server server so let's get started so this is my cpanel so on the cpanel i'm going to host a website using the uh, uh from this using the subdomain actually to host this website so what i will do i will first go create a subdomain so you scroll down so under this section of domain you click on the domains So when you get here, you click on create a new domain. So you type the name of your subdomain. I'm using this subdomain because I don't want to uh, tamper with my already hosted site. So that's why I want to use a subdomain here. So I'll give this, let me just king uh, dot um, a i r f. So I click on submit. Yeah, I have dot com. Yeah, I click on submit. So after clicking on submit, it's with redirected to this place, meaning that you've created the subdomain. This is my subdomain, king dot ailf dot com. So I will click on this link to take me to this place where I can manage my account. So it is from this place that I will upload my project. This is a project that I want to host. This project is local to my machine now, but I want to host it on a live server. So to do that, you go to the your library where the project folder is located at. For you, this is the code already. This is the code of the project. I will post it. I will paste it uh, on the comment section below so that you can get access to it. So. I will come here and show you. This is the folder. This is the folder that is containing the code. If I click it, you see some of the code, the index, the footer, the bootstrap folders, and the rest. So what I will do here, I will compress this folder. Right click here, click on send to, then click on compress. So I have compressed the folder, which is this, I have compressed the folder. So now that I've compressed the folder, I'll go back to my cPanel. That is my cPanel in this place. And this in this place, you can only upload a zip folder or a zip file. So I'll click on upload. Then click on select file. Then locate that zip folder that you extract, that you compressed, which is uh, HTML my class, which is this one here. So I'll click it. Then you wait for it to start loading to what gets to 100%. So let's wait a little bit. So it has finished uh, uploading the zip folder. So I'll click on go back to the home. Okay, so you can see the zip folder here. So on this plot on this place, I have to extract this zip folder by right clicking here and click on extract. Then click on extract files. Click on close. I have extracted this folder, this files here. To see some of the, the files, you click refresh the browser to see the files that were extracted. So this is a folder that I've just extracted from this zip file. So I can delete this zip file and I don't need it. So in this folder, I will click it to see the files. You can see the numerous files that we uploaded to this our subdomain here. So what I'll do, I'll move this to the roots of my URL of my uh, domain. So how do you do that? I'll click on select all. Then right click. Then move. Click on move. So I want the my project for uh, the directories and files to be in the root sub uh, domain so i'll take this one folder up then i'll click on move files 
so i'll click on go back or up one level so you can see and i now have uh, my directories my directories uh, my extracted directories and files on the root of my subdomain so i don't need this folder called html my class any longer since i've extracted and i've Move the directories away from it. I can delete it. Okay, good. So now that that is done, I cannot test if my if my domain is working. I can test if the domain is working. Let me just go now and copy this my domain. So let me test if my URL is working. My subdomain I created is working now, which is king dot dot com. I press enter fantastic you can see we have successfully hosted our world's website on a live server so you can see the process was seamlessly and quite easy so please uh if this video is helpful please drop uh, a comment subscribe to our youtube channel for more programming updates and uh, tutorial i promise to give you more updates here thanks very much